Hey guys, it's Joette with Balloon Coach, and I am so glad that you guys are here with me today to learn about how you can step into your client's shoes to help you land larger events. And the other thing I want to say about this is sometimes that's not always the way you want to go after you find out some of the details, all right? But this is going to give you a broad overview to help you look at some of the steps you can take to help step into your client's shoes and become more of an expert when it comes to doing large events. So let me see if I can get my Canva to get me showing the right thing. All right, and we go here and present. Let's see if we can get it all right. Presenter view auto play. Sorry guys, every once in a while, I hit the wrong buttons and they keep um, changing things a little bit. Um, so there we go. All right. So what you see at the beginning of this is Balloon Boss Summit of 2022, where we had our hands up and the balloon drops were coming. Um, and then um, Summit two years ago, where we had a masquerade theme. It was a lot of fun. For those of you who I haven't met yet, I'm Joette, also known as Balloon Coach. Um, I started BalloonCoach.com back in 2000 and 15 to help balloon professionals take the next step in growing their business. And so it has been eight years now that I've been being able to be a coach and help other people take the steps that I took in marketing and growing my balloon business. Um, since being in the industry in 2003, I now celebrate 20 years in the industry and I absolutely love the balloon industry and helping other people grow. So my first question to you, and you can type it into the chat, I would love to know what is the largest event that you've ever decorated for? So um, you can put down, you know, it was a $500 event, $250, um, did a $5,000 event. Um, you might say, hey, we did both decor, entertainment, and the whole gig, and it was, you know, over 20,000. So give me some numbers just so that I can share them with other people. All right, so we've got a $1,000 event. 9,000, 2,800, uh, $500, 1,300, 1,500, 800, 3,000, um, 7,000, 5,000, um, 500, 1,500, 5K, um, decor only 20K. Um, let's see, um, multimedia entertainment with everything, third, um, 82,000. 1,856 K, um, 7,515K. The reason I wanted to share these numbers is to let you know what's possible with balloons. When I started the industry in 2003, I had no idea. 13,000 is another number that just popped in. And one of the things that frustrated me going for, to balloon training after balloon training, and I've been to some of the best in the world, is that often we didn't talk about real numbers. When people said, how much did that cost or how much did the client pay? People are like, oh, go do the job cost form. It's going to be different in your area. And it's like, dudes, no, let's talk real numbers. <laughs> what are people willing to pay for balloons? Because if we don't talk about it as an industry, people don't know. And then you can get yourself in a situation where you're not um, feeling confident to share and quote a big number because you didn't ask the question. So this photo right here is of a Chamber of Commerce event. Um, it was the year that I was switching over and selling my company. We put three foot balloons from the ceiling. I believe we did a total of 80 in that room. And then we also did the feather centerpieces for this event. So what I want you to think about is that biggest event that you did whether it was a $500 job or a $13,000 job, whatever you're at, that biggest event that you ever did, did it take more time to prepare for than you thought it would? So type into the chat real quick and say yes or no. That big event that you did, did it take more time than you thought? I've got a yes, heck yes, <laughs> lots of yeses going on. I've got a couple people saying no, but the majority are saying yes. Couple, not really. All right. Uh, one person said, I didn't even finish. I've been there. I was doing a mitzvah and I was supposed to make a Monopoly guy. And that just did not happen. I got all the other room decor done, but I had made the mistake of not making that sculpture in advance and underestimating how long it was going to take me to complete stuff. And that is when I learned to prepare way in advance and um, bring in everything I could. All right. 
So the next question I have for you is after that event, after that largest event that you did, did you decide to charge more next time you did the job? So that if a client called you up for that exact same setup, did you decide that, yes, I'm going to charge more? <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> yep, lots of yes is going on. So the thing that I want to remind you is as you go through being a balloon business owner, we're going to learn every step of the way. And they often say that failure is not the opposite of success. It is a learning tool for us to do better next time. So the next thing that I ask you is, did you write notes down from that time? <laughs> All right, that you can refer back to. And do you know how to find those notes if you did write them down? So that's going to be kind of a little bit of a homework thing to you. I've got a big no <laughs> that they didn't write anything down. I get it. We're busy and we forget. But one of the coolest tools that we have now is a program called Google Drive. And what I absolutely love about Google Drive is I can use it on my phone. It can attach to the files that I can see in the cloud on my computer. And now I can add to that list anytime. So what I'm gonna encourage you guys to do is next time you're working on a project, no matter how small or how big, is look at how you can put files into Google Drive that you share with your team and go ahead and do that tracking and track how long things take and take photos and put the things down of what I would do in the future in that venue. Um, another person is saying that they use Trello for that kind of thing. So I really encourage you guys to take notes while things are fresh in your mind. And it might be right now, it's something that you did five years ago, but you still remember some of those key points. Write it down and make it a file that says, Lakeland Center or Florida Southern College or prom or homecoming and you can do it by venue you can do it by client you can be doing it by type of event but write down that key information so that next time when you get a quote for that same type of job or that same venue you've got those notes to refer back to so what my next question is is when you think about the jobs you've done in the past and you dream about the future what size job are you kind of dreaming about? Like, is there a sweet spot that you're like, hey, Joanne, I'm good. Like, if I just stay in this number, I'm good. Or you know what? I've got this pie in the sky and there's this number I'm going for. So currently, do you have something in mind that you want to land for the future? And go ahead and throw that in there for me. So while you guys are giving me those numbers, I want to go ahead and get right to the chase, which is, understanding what it's like to be in your client's shoes. All right. And one of the things that we so often, I didn't realize when I started in the industry in 2003 is how expensive things are. Um, my husband is a teacher in Central Florida and doesn't make a ton of money. We don't go lots of fancy events at the time. <laughs> and we were new to Central Florida. So Brian was from Chicago, I was from Missouri. Um, so I really didn't know about the venues here. I didn't know about the activities and the events. So if you're really wanting to understand what your customers are experiencing, you need to dig into the industry where you're at. And that is you need to find out what does it cost to rent the venues, the country clubs you want to be at, the city buildings, the convention centers, wherever you want to work at, you need to find out how much it costs to rent that space. And if you want to know how to go in and have those conversations in Balloon Boss Mastermind under Masterclass, under Vendor Partners, that is a great way. Referral partners and vendors, I give you the whole thing of how to say things, what to do, how to make an appointment, and how to get this information. So that's something if you haven't done it yet and you're a Mastermind member or you want to come join Mastermind even for a month to check it out, is you can go through that scripted process to go out and visit those venues and get this information. Number two is understanding the food cost. Many venues, you cannot bring in your own food. You have to go through their catering. And um, in a minute, I'm gonna to talk to you about how um, costly that can get really quick. Hotel rooms, many times when your clients are um, like a corporate client, a lot of times people tell me, oh, I wanna work with corporate conventions. Well, now that corporate client has to fill out a contract that they're gonna rent X number of rooms at X number of dollars per night, and they're on the hook if there are people coming to the event, don't purchase all of those rooms. So that's an added expense and stress that the people have. Entertainment, you know, you've got twisters, face painters, 
you have DJs, you have musicians, anything that you can think of under the sun, there's different entertainment that your client is looking at bringing in. A client also is often working with a coordinator or a planner that's over the entire event is kind of putting all the vendors together. There's the lighting people, there's linens, there's rentals like tables, chairs, podiums, um, the um, risers and the stages, all of those things are often rentals. And then there's photographers and videographers. Those are like the top 10 things that we usually work with. Do you currently know what it costs to bring those people into an event for the type of events you're wanting to go for. So if it's a wedding, do you know how much wedding video, uh, videographers and photographers charge? Do you understand what um, those rental fees are? The way you find out is going and checking and doing some research online. So before I get into the real total numbers, what I want to show you is how I got into doing larger events. Again, I said I was new to the area. I didn't know a lot of people. So I started with being a member of the Chamber, a member of American Business Women's Association and NABO, National Association of Women Business Owners. So those were my three ways to start building relationships. So if you do not currently go to networking events with the type of people that you wanna work with, then you need to find out the organizations in your group. National Association of Women's Business Owners, um, American Business um, ABWA, um, there's also BNI and there's chambers. Um, there's a ton of other type of meeting groups also. So you find out what's going to work best for you. What happened with me is I started making friends with one of the local country clubs and that sales director said, you know what, I'm on the board for the March of Dimes chef's auction and Joette, I would love for you to be a member. Will you come and serve with me? on this committee and I was like, oh man, that makes a lot of sense. If I go serve on this committee with one of my top clients, now other people that are like her are gonna know about me. I can meet other people in the community and I can decorate the venue that I want to work in more. It was a win, win, win. I took their small $200 budget and I created decor for them. All right, so I started by creating things that were different that I hadn't done before. I hadn't done the foil arch. And so by doing that, as people walked into that room, people were like, wow, this is cool. I've never seen this before. And then the committee would go, oh, have you met Joette before with party people? She's right over here. She's a sponsor of our event tonight. And here she is. And so I sponsored the event. All right. So the key word here is sponsor, not donate. I'm serving at a sponsorship level, and I made sure that it was at a high enough level that I was just like all the other cool businesses in town, and I got a table of 10, and I was able to bring the crew that work with me, my family, and some of my friends from my networking events so that we looked cool. We fit in that room, and then people were talking to me because they loved what they saw in the room, all right? And over the years, I got to do different things for them. This was March of Dimes Chef's Auction. And it was just a fun way to be able to fill the space with color and balloons. And then I started booking other events by doing this. So it works because also in today's world with Google, you can use this now to tag that venue that you worked at. You can tag the organization. You can be able to, when other people are looking to do an event at that venue, you're going to be one of the top people that pops up in the pictures. All right. So back to numbers and pricing as you're meeting people in your area and you're talking to the local photographers and the venues what you want to do is find out you know i don't want to send a referral to you that can't afford you right the last thing i want you to do is bombarded by people who have no money to spend so you find out which venues allow food to come in so that somebody can just get a person to grill burgers outside and bring them in or that their aunt can just cook a lasagna and bring it into the venue but then you find out what venues have it where maybe it costs $50 a plate or $75 or $125. I even know one place that's $190 per plate for the type of menu that they serve. So you want to know those numbers so that when a client's calling you from that venue saying, oh, we're going to have a seated dinner, <laughs> we're going to be doing this, you already kind of know the numbers that they're playing with because if they're working with big numbers, you don't have to be as scared to quote a big number, all right? So understand that at Balloon Boss Summit, I'm paying $50 per person for lunch, for a buffet lunch, and for our dinners, we're doing $85 and up per person 
for those meals. And it's not a super fancy hotel. They do make delicious food, but it is a convention center in Orlando. Um, somebody says, are you supposed to be seeing something else on my screen? Are you guys not seeing my presentation? <laughs> I see it, Joette. I see All right, it. so you see, do the research and know your pricing? Yes, and your neon. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So with venues, many venues start at $2,000 per day, can go up to 5,000, 10,000 or more just to rent the venue space for a wedding or a mitzvah. So getting to know those venues and what their pricing are and how their contracts work, because a lot of times your client does not know. This might be the first time and only time that they do a special event. So they may not understand that when they sign that contract that says 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., that that's the time frame that they get. And so at 10 p.m., that doesn't mean that that's when the music stops. That means you have to be totally moved out of that venue by 10 o'clock at night. And so I always ask my client, hey, can you send me a copy of your contract or can you tell me what the times are on it? Um, because I need to educate them that of, oh, your end time is 10 o'clock. So that means with the decor that you're ordering from me, it's gonna take our crew about two hours to take it all down. So that means your party and your DJ needs to end at 8 p.m. And they're like, what? No, I plan to have my DJ go until 10 o'clock at night. We might even go to 11 or midnight. And then you have to educate them. Oh, well, that means you're going to need to extend those hours on the contract. And then that just lets you know that I'm going to have to charge you a little bit more because of that late night fee. So it helps you give them the right information by knowing what their contract is. And it also helps knowing what they're paying for a venue. So again, you're not scared to quote larger numbers because if they're renting a big space, it's going to take more money to make that space look amazing. Understanding that entertainment can easily start at $200 an hour, all right? Having a coordinator for just day of often can be $1,000. For some of the event planners that people work with, they get um, paid 10% of um, the entire bill, all right? So if it's a $30,000 bill, then they automatically get at least $3,000 plus other costs. So looking on Google, you can even search some of those contracts and find out what those folks are getting paid. Um, with your lighting, lighting packages or just some up lights can easily start at $500. When I do linens at Summit, I love to have a chair cover and sash. So this neon is a black chair cover with a neon sash on it. Um, and that costs $2.75 per chair. All right. And then that's not for them to install it. That's with our team installing it. Rentals, oh my goodness. <laughs> when you start getting into special podiums, um, screens, they don't rent those for just typically, um, oh, let me just give it to you for a week for a great price. The client has to pay for it the entire time they have it. So if it's a convention coming in and they need pipe and drape and screens to stay up for a week, they're paying thousands of dollars for that to happen. Um, it's not like, oh, we'll, we'll just give it to you for one price for the day and then you can just keep it for the extra five because that rental company is losing the money every day you keep it. So sometimes your clients are going to ask you to set up and decorate the day before and now your stuff may be out of your um, warehouse for two to four days. Well, you want to make sure that you're getting paid for that entire time because if not, you could be flipping it around and using it for someone else. Photographers for weddings often are around $2,000 base and go up from that. And the same with a videographer for a wedding. They're typically around $2,000. So again, getting to know these numbers and be comfortable using them is going to help you when you go to give that $20,000 quote to be confident, go, yes, and Mrs. Jones, I'll be glad to make your daughter Sweet 16 look amazing. It's just gonna be 20,000 plus delivery and takedown. So the total price is, and we can go ahead and put that on the credit card today to get you locked in to our calendar so that we can make her day spectacular and then wait for the credit card. All right, so I encourage you guys to get used to these numbers, go do your research locally, because that's going to make you be that professional is when you go into those local vendors and venues and you let them know that you're trying to refer more people to them, but you need to know a little bit about their services so that you can put the right client into the right hands. 
Another way to get large scale events is to do quality decor. All right, if you're brand new to the industry, then it's probably not time for you to quote a huge job yet, <laughs> but go practice how to put things together. And if you aren't confident with your skills, then come to Balloon Boss Summit and learn from the folks who've done this for a year, 10 years, 30 years, help you improve your skills. Because what's great about Summit is you get awesome pictures like this that you can then sell with. I can't tell you how many people I know who sell those snow uh, events. Also, find out, does your client need things to be latex free? This is for Lakeland Regional Medical Center in Lakeland. It was an account that I got when I started my company in 2003 that the previous owner did every year, and they needed us to be latex free. So we would go in and decorate every year. And this hat and this prop, they did the event every year but had the same theme for five years. So do you have room to store all these top hats and canes for five years? Do you have a place or are you gonna rebuy them every year? Um, if you're using other props like fabric and pipe and drape, do you have a location to put those items? And then thinking about that, do you want to rent props, right? Well, where are you gonna put these when you're done? So all this fabric that's on these poles has to get folded up and put into a big black bin. All these feathers have to be taken out and put into another bin. All of the vases are breakable and they have to go into another container. The lighting needs the batteries taken out so that they don't rot. So as you're going into larger events and people are asking for things, you have to decide, do you have the space to store them or is there somebody else in your area that provides this service that you would rather just work with and then when your client needs it, you give them a call and Again, when you're looking at the costing, remember it's taking up valuable space in your storage, all right? And you're having to haul things back and forth. So don't be afraid to charge more for it. So as we wrap up this part, I want you to think about what is your dream event? If you're reaching for the stars and thinking about the future of the ultimate event that you want to decorate, what I need you to do is right now on your phone or on a piece of paper, I need you to write it down. You are 42% more likely to make this thing happen if you write it down, all right? Number two, what are the systems that you need to put in place to pull off that event? Do you have all the skills and knowledge or do you need to hire in some hired guns who have the skill? And so think about who can you do, who can you use to help you build that decor? And I wanna let you know, my, many of the people who are on my Balloon Boss Summit team, uh, plus other friends in the industry, they actually travel and help other people out. So you've got Gary Ledbetter, who's known as MacGyver of Rigging. He's traveled all over the world doing some really cool, large um, award-winning displays. Um, and so Gary is one of those people that you can hire on a daily rate to come and work for you and help you pull off a big project. Um, we've got Melissa Vinson, who has been designer of the year twice in our industry. Um, there's Jules who loves to travel and go hiking. So that's a score too. If you happen to be in a state where she wants to hike, she'll even give you a better rate sometimes. Um, and the list goes on of other people that I can refer to you that can help you out with projects to help you coordinate, plan it, do the framing and pull it off. So when a large event comes to you and you feel like, oh, I can do this, but I don't have quite all the skills, know that there's other people that you can hire to help you out. And then, um, how are you going to meet this target audience that you want to work for? So in 2009, I had the privilege of getting to do my first $10,000 event. This was put together because of somebody that I met through American, I'm sorry, NABO, National Association of Women Business. Nope. So let me go back. ABWA, American Business Women's Association. Um, she had seen that I had traveled to China. She had heard about the different conferences I go to. She saw my work at other fundraisers and large corporate events. And so she came up to me one day at one of the meetings. And she's like, hey, Joette, I have a question. Do you think you can handle a $10,000 job? Because that's my budget for this company who's celebrating their 100th anniversary. And I need you to make an orange tree and do a wall and some other stuff. Can you handle that job? And it's like, yes. And what was cool is I had written down previously that I wanted to land a $10,000 job. So what I want you guys to do is right now, I want you to write down what is that dream job that you want? 
Is it a certain dollar amount? Is it a certain person that you want to work with? And maybe give it a time frame. Within the next five years, I'd like to land a $20,000 event. Within the next two years, I'd like to land X. So just write it down because that's the first step in making it happen. And then I want to remind you that people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. And the way for people that have the money to do these bigger events is you've got to get out there and do networking. Find an organization, go kick the tires of the area that you want to serve in, go meet those people, build those relationships, continue to do beautiful balloon work, and things will fall into place. And then surround yourself with like-minded people. That's what Balloon Boss Mastermind and Balloon Boss Summit is all about. It's a way for you to get in the room with other people who've had the successes and that can help impart that wisdom on you. So you're invited to join us, Orlando, November 5th through the 9th, um, 2023 in sunny Orlando. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I wanna be respectful of my instructor's time. And I promised you guys I was gonna introduce you to some of my instructors tonight. So if you are an instructor for me for Balloon Boss Summit, I'd love for you to turn on your camera and then I'll call out your name so you can just open up your mic and say hello. I'd like you to share your name, where you're from, what the name of your company is, and one thing that you're looking forward to about Summit. And then after we do those staff introductions, I will open up the Q&A. So Mr. Fudge, you get to go first. Thank you. I'm Jonathan Fudge out of Tampa, Florida. My company is Y2E Events and Balloon Decor. Um, I've been doing this for a little bit and I enjoy it a bunch. My favorite thing about uh, actually any convention, but Summit in particular, is being around people that love what they do. Uh, I find passion really awesome. And I, one of my greatest loves is helping people do what they love for a living. So that's one of the big benefits that I get out of it. But I also get to see all these other people that do business different than me. And I'm aware that there are ways to do business that are not how I do business that are still successful and amazing and awesome and wonderful. And I get to learn those things too. Awesome. Thank you, Fudge. We're super excited that you're coming back this year and being sponsored by the Balloon Guild. All right, Mr. Gerber. Hi, Jonathan Gerber from Lakeland, Florida. Um, I own Party People Events and with John Fudge, part owner of the Balloon Guild, which I'm very excited about. You guys should look it up. Um, and I'm excited just to hang out with people and talk about business. I, I've always gotten the most out of just talking to people about random questions and stuff. So I'm super pumped. I'm very excited to be representing Simpertex. It's going to be awesome. They have the best display. So. Yay. So yeah, um, Vitalik is um, in the United States that makes the um, foil balloons. And then Simpertex is now the line that used to be known as Vitalitex in the United States, but Simpertex is worldwide. So um, I know some people have been confused about that. Like, what's the deal between Vitalitex and Simpertex? And it's always been Simpertex balloons in the Vitalitex bags. We now just get to call it one company, which is exciting. All right. So um, Mindy, you're on deck next. Hi, I am Mindy. I live in a cornfield in Modoc, Indiana. So um, I kind of get the experience of how to maybe work in a smaller town. Um, and I have learned a lot in the past from coming to the Balloon Boss Summits. And I'm excited to kind of share little twisting tips and tricks with people and how they can add perceived value to their designs with just a few little twisting tricks here and there. Awesome. Yay. Thank you, Mindy. All right, Miss Stephanie, are you able to introduce yourself? Um, you're muted currently, Stephanie. <laughs> Hi, guys. All right. So I'm Stephanie Cofield and my company is Celebration Creations. I'm here in New Jersey and I am excited and very honored that I'll be um, in Florida with you guys are representing High Float. And um, I'm just super excited and I've learned a lot by being a part of this organization and I enjoy meeting new people and learning new things. Hi Tabitha, I see you over there in the corner and just love you guys. So just excited to be coming. 
Yay. And I'm excited because Stephanie is one of those people who was home based for many years and then stepped out with her goals and moved into a storefront. Um, she's very familiar with doing balloon deliveries, working with high float <laughs> and helium. And so this year, more than ever, we're going to have stations set up every day for people to get their hands on those helium balloons, because that is something that not as many people have had experience with over the last five years. Um, more people are used to the air filled. So um, you're going to get more opportunities to get your hands on the high float on the helium and arrange designs for us to take photos of. So I'm super excited about that. Yay, Stephanie. All right, Holland, you are next. If you're able to unmute, Miss Holland, there we go. Hi. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I'm Holland Musio from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, my husband and I own Balloonacy, and we are a balloon and floral decor company uh, and other decor uh, here in Atlanta. And um, we uh, have a warehouse and it's full of a lot of props and she was talking about space to hold things well we've accumulated a lot of stuff we're about to have an eviction sale on some on on some of these props that are not making us any money but uh um because i want to buy some new props and want to make some more money off so we'll tell you how that's going later um but yeah so we'll be around uh we'll be back in uh, november to help um Talk about flowers and flower basics and uh, we've had a lot of requests for that because you know sometimes client all they want is like maybe four bud vases to go along with their balloons and they don't want to call a florist and they're like can you help me and you go uh i don't know i mean i can go to the grocery store and well let me see what i can do and we'll, and then you find out you like it so we'll talk we'll, we'll talk all about that Yay, I love it. We'll be adding the flowers this year. All right, Miss Dory, you're up next. Hello, I'm Dory from Total Party in central New Jersey. I've been doing balloons and parties for over 20 years, and I'm excited to do some hands-on stuff with you at Summit 2023. Woo-woo, working on personalization and anything balloons. <laughs> I love it. All right, uh, Misty. Hi, I'm Misty, um, owner of Balloons by Misty in Grand Forks, North Dakota. I'm right an hour south of the Canadian border and right on the Minnesota border. Um, very cold. And I am excited to um, keep showing and talking about balloon tags and how you can use those um, with your business and to market and do some fun things with that. And also um, how to use vinyl um, for personalization and upselling of a lot of products. Yay. So for anybody who doesn't know, go check out balloontags.com. This will be their second year as a sponsor with Misty. And I just really love a lot of their program um, um, products to help you market with. Um, they're a little bit fun and different. Um, so go check those out. And I'm glad that uh, Misty is coming back this year. She was really great at helping me out behind the scenes too with um, different things. So it's going to be a fun time. All right. So guys, is there any other staff that are on tonight that I'm currently not seen. I'm trying to scroll through. Oh, there's Balloon Squad. Woo -woo. All right. Um, oh, and there's Tabitha. All right, cool. So Tabitha and then um, Balloon Squad. Hey, guys. My name is Tabitha Miller. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I'll be helping you with structures and um, pers you know, just making sure that you have hands-on time with creating different bases and using tools. We did tool time with Tabitha last year, and it was a ton of fun. A lot of people got their hands on tools for the very first time, and it did a phenomenal job. So I'm here to help you, uh, empower you, to give you encouragement and advice, and make sure that you can go back home and make all the structures that is needed for awesome events. Yay! And I'm sponsored by Having a Party. So if you haven't gone to Having a Party's website, they carry all the brands and I get to use everything. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Because last year um, she was sponsored by Tough Text, which was wonderful. Um, but it is always fun when you're um, sponsored by one of the um, distributors because you do get to play with a lot of different stuff without restraints, which is nice. Um, and then the other thing, just to let you guys know, Having a Party is having um, our major instructors who are from all the different um, balloon manufacturers, plus Tabitha and I, um, do their having a party um, teachable moments. March, I think six is when it starts for a week. 
So um, check that out on their Instagram, on my Instagram, Facebook, and join us live during that week. It'll be fun. Thank you, Tabitha, for coming back with your enthusiasm to share all the great things that you do. All right, and new to our team this year, Miss Sheila. She is not new to Balloon Coach, though. She's a Mastermind member and has come to many of our live events in the past. Um, Sheila, tell us a little bit about yourself and your multiple locations. Hello, everybody. I am Sheila Fluker, co-owner of the Balloon Squad. Um, we have multiple locations. Um, my specialty is retail and financing your business, financing multiple stores, um, managing people. I am most excited. Um, well, I'm stationed in my station. I'm thinking about my army terms. My headquarters is um, located in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, and then we have location in Charlotte, North Carolina and a studio in Dallas, Texas. Um, I am most, most excited about Balloon Ball Summit um, just because the conversations, like I love the in-class in stuff, but like the relationships that I have built outside of the classroom, just like at lunch or like on our chill time, like my Rolodex is like bum, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I only been in the industry not even five years. It'll be five years in March, but the the relationships that I built has like skipped me way ahead of my time, um, which has really allowed me to grow my business and um, take a break from my business, take vacations, employ my family um buy the beautiful purses that I like to buy all the time so yeah I'm excited <laughs> I love it um and so Sheila tell us just a little bit um when you said that you love having employees and going on vacation you're saying that you're actually able to leave your location and still make money correct oh absolutely <laughs> and, and and my phone doesn't ring I don't have to like put out fires while I'm away so that's a plus I love it all right so I think I have found all of our folks who are on this evening, but I might not be right. Um, Sarah, are you still on? I thought I saw you earlier. I don't know if you had to jump off. Are there yep, any I'm here? I am sick in a bathrobe, oh. so <laughs> I'm not turning on my camera. That's fine. <laughs> uh, but I'm very excited to be back um, representing 17 hats once again, and I will have help this time. Um, my friend Nicole, who runs a 17 hats startup, company um she will be there as well so we will be able to double team and help everyone get your workflows in order and save more time getting out of your inbox <laughs> yay i love it that is awesome uh, and yeah so um nicole with let nicole help um is also a sponsor this year and um, what will be great is last year people were spending so much time with sarah on trying to be on the computer and get the details where um, that is the thing that Nicole really rocks at. And so she's gonna be able to have those sessions with you guys in the afternoon and on Thursday um, to help you with that um, piece of the puzzle. So Sarah, Delighted 17 Hats has you coming back this year. And if anybody happens to not be aware, there is this awesome podcast you can listen to called thebrightballoon.com. And Sarah is the voice you hear on that every week. So um, when you need to have some extra time outside of being in your balloon Boss Mastermind Dashboard, um, listening to Sarah's podcast is amazing. So guys, thank you to all of the staff who are on tonight. Um, one more shout out, guys. Is there anybody I missed? I'm trying to go through the list to make sure uh, I didn't miss anybody who's on tonight. Uh, for anybody who's like, Joette, how do I come to Summit? Awesome instructors you've got. Go to balloonCoach.com. And when you get to balloonCoach.com, you click on join us at summit and from there you can pick if you want to do full payment um, right now we are in the early bird stage to give you a discount we do have a six pay and a three pay plan it's a monthly um, it'll be november 5th through the 9th and then if you would like to take your cba exam you have to turn all of that stuff into rj at qualitex by october you can then take your cba on saturday november 4th also you can come in early and be with us on saturday november Fourth, while we're doing hands on builds, Charlie and um, oh my goodness. Tammy. Thank you. Charlie and Tammy from Amazing Balloons in um, North Carolina are going to be doing the stage decor. It's going to be an awesome garden theme. We're going to talk about Thrive and we'll talk about how you plant the seeds to help your garden grow as a business and have a beautiful, um, fun 
decor set up for that so you can help do the wall you can help do sculptures you can help build frame with tabitha and make some really cool decor um coming in early um and then we you can see here tabitha been in some tools with Kristen last year our cbas enjoying the time but you can see all of our 30 instructors right here on balloon bus we don't see your screen love thank you so much all right so ballooncoach.com now you've seen it hope yes ma'am <laughs> all right thanks so ballooncoach.com you can see the dates you can see our cbas you can see the video from last year um, we have fun theme parties so this year we're going to have a bonus dinner on sunday night a grand opening to celebrate our cbas we're going to have some contests um, this year liz romani is being um, sponsored by premium conwin and so there's going to be some inflators for prizes we're going to be doing some fun relays on opening night. It's going to be a blast. Um, the CBA testing is Saturday morning uh, from 9 a.m. to 1. And during that time and in the afternoon, we'll be doing hands-on builds to get ready for kickoff day. Um, so you can purchase your ticket right here. And then again, see all 30 amazing instructors and our 16 amazing um, sponsors. So check all that. I love your new website update. Thank you. Looks good. <laughs> We're super happy. And so you can play this video to see what it looked like last year. And this year's our dinner on Wednesday night. We're going to be doing an under the sea theme, which is awesome for corporate galas, for birthday parties, and for proms and homecomings. So we transform the space with balloons from all of our manufacturers, our instructors giving you um, hands on training. And um, it's a really awesome time. So the other thing that I just want to let you guys know about is on Thursday, the ninth, that day is going to be the implementation day. So we will be done pretty much with balloons and we're gonna divide our big ballroom into four sections and you'll be able to pick who you need to hang out with to sit at your computer and get the things done that you had worked on a little bit throughout the week and you want to have this task completed before you get home. So I'm really excited that we're opening up the schedule this year to be able to have that completion day on Thursday. And what happened is we learned last year when we had a hurricane that there were people who had flight delays and those people that stayed the day after we were all sitting out by the pool. People were on their computers and they were making their catalogs and they were putting together their um, workflows for their customer management system. And it was a really great way to get things done that you just learned about before you get back home to all the chaos and all of the distractions from your family and your business. So guys, what I want to do now is be respectful of people's time. And for those of you who are online with me now, if you have any questions about the topic we had tonight about gaining larger clients or anything about Summit, feel free to ask the question now while I still have the recording on, or you can type in, um, you know, private, I want the recording off to ask the question. But so I want to go ahead with those of you who are on live with us tonight. If there's another question you have on topic, of what we were just talking about with um, landing larger events or about coming to Summit, you can ask that now. Um, and then I will turn off the recording in just a few minutes uh, for those people who don't wanna be on the recording. And for those of you who watch this as a replay, know that this is what I do with my mastermind people every single time we meet. We meet four times a month and every conference that we have, we talk about the training, we answer people's questions and at the end we turn off the recording so people can feel comfortable just to talk with the people who are on. So anybody have a question while we're still on camera? You can just open up your mic or type it into the chat. I, I have a question. to share. Oh, go ahead. Uh, go. <laughs> well, let's hear the wind first. Go ahead. Um. So I recently joined the chamber and they're having a gala and I was like, hey, I would love to talk about the photo op. Let's I would love to sponsor the photo op. It's my first year. I really want to make a good impression. And it's a fun theme. It's an evening in uh, Dublin. So Ireland and the the invitation is like emerald greens and golds and whites. And I just know I can do such a phenomenal job. And I was like, I'd love to talk about the gala at the um, uh, talk about a photo op. And they're like, 
well, typically it's a formal event, so we don't do balloons. And I was like, oh, well, way to support me, snotty folks. So I responded with some really great photos. And I was like, well, this is kind of what I was thinking. I had this gold shimmer wall. I had this. Everybody's going to be dressed up in their best. And it'd really be a shame not to have a wonderful photo op to uh, capture those memories. And blah, 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 blah. And sure enough, guess who gets to do that photo op? Little snotty folks. <laughs> So I was super excited. Now I want to tell you guys, no matter what, y'all show them and you go and talk to them. And if they respond like that, just show them some really awesome work and be like, you know, we actually do formal events quite often, pretty much all the time. So you're the one missing out. Here's some yeah. ideas. And I, and I think that's one of the things that I really love about Summit is we have that opportunity for people to be dressed up and be in their best and have the photos around that so that we can show people how elegant things can be. And then other times we're showing them that it's whimsical and fun too. So um, just one more shout out. Does anybody have anything else that they want to share while we're still on the recording or do y'all need me to turn it off? Miss Stacy? Yes. Uh, one, I have a win and two, I have a question. Um, actually the month of, I think I'm in February that I'm almost at like 10,000 for the month. And, and, and not much of it had to do with Valentine's. It's just people really ready to party and get stuff set up for March and April. So I'm really excited about that. I have, um, remember before I was telling you about that job that I had where I was trying to um, help people coordinate. Well, they did agree on one item. So it's an organic um wall like and then the lady who needed the 64 centerpieces how i want to inflate and i want to inflate early because i normally do but i've been running into some bad balloons with holes in them and part of me is saying well is it better to blow up now so you know you got a hole in it or do you want to just wait until the week closer to it so you don't have that as a problem but 64 on one day is not what I want to do. So I want to have them all inflated for the week and we may just assemble half of them the day of, but the rest of them we can have early. So I just wanted to get some feedback and how many people are getting bursts or balloons with little holes in them. Um, definitely when you have a pinhole, you have a pinhole. So I would rather know in advance so that I can order in more balloons if I need to um, or go to plan B. So um, typically with anything that's latex, um, that's not a 260, um, I feel very comfortable um, inflating it like five days in advance, 11 inch balloons a week, and then foils, you know, weeks and months in advance. Okay, thank you. Anybody else currently with the situation you've had with the latex? And are you doing all latex or some foils? I am going to do some falls for accents on the organic piece, but um, the center pieces are all latex. So just a couple guys, if you can just share how far in advance you all are feeling comfortable um, inflating things currently. I just had a thought on the, um, the deflating. I'm finding a lot, I guess more recently, that foils are not necessarily, um, the valves seem to be an issue. So, um, I'm finding that when I'm inflating in advance and I'm losing air, I reinflate and then heat seal. And most of the time, that solves the problem. That's just a thought. If you're having an issue, that, I mean, that only works for foils, obviously, but. Great tip. Thanks. Anybody else currently, Tabitha, how far in advance are you inflating, inflating your latex currently? Airfield, I'll do a week early. Our shop is air conditioned and that means that it's low humidity and so the balloons stay nice and shiny and we'll we can start building on monday for friday's event for sure so as long as your environment that you're going to have your balloons in isn't very humid i'm comfortable rock and roll girl get it cool so what i'm going to do at this point is turn off our recording because we have been on for almost an hour. And I know a lot of times people don't like to see a replay more than that. If you have other questions about how to take the next step in growing your business, um, you can go to ballooncoach.com and on the home page, there is a big button that says, um, schedule a 10 minute consultation with me. And you can talk to me and find out, you know, is Balloon Boss Summit a good fit for you to come to that live event? Um, there are only um, 44 seats left. 
uh, for Summit for 2023. Um, so grab your seat today. Um, and then if you want to be a part of my online program, Balloon Boss Mastermind, um, you can check out the videos on the website or also talk to me about that. So I want to make sure anybody watching this is a replay. You know you can reach out to me through my website to schedule an appointment or email me joette at ballooncoach.com. I love helping you take the next step in growing your business. And thank you to everybody who's on live. As a thank you, I'm turning off the recording now so we can just have open chat.